Hi guys, um, I'm back. This is go this is my s second video in the Snailcare series, and this is going to be on feeding. So these are just some foods for my snails that my snails can eat, and my favorite that my snails do eat is lettuce and grass. So I have two types of grass, just like normal grass, and then special grass that I grow. So yeah, my snails really, really love that. They just like, as soon as you put it in there, they just like really come over and they just love it. And also, they also love tomato. And they'll, well, they'll kind of eat it if they're hungry. Like, they'll eat it, but they kind of like it. Like, so yeah, they'll like it, but they just won't eat it as much as the lettuce. So if you put lettuce and tomato in there at the same time, they'll probably just go for the lettuce. And um, they also like peas. Um, yeah, when I mush them up and put them in water, and I really, really like them. Um, yeah, but not as much as lettuce. But but if you put tomato and peas in there, um, they'll go for the tomato. I don't this. They just like it when you put it in there. They really like it. And yeah, some unsafe foods for snails are watermelon. It's too watery and also. Well, actually, you can't really get too watery for snails, but still, I wouldn't feed it to them. And also, it um, has a lot of sugar in it, which is really bad for snails. And also, um, you can't feed them grapes. Like, well, you can, but you can, like, can't break through the skin. Like, it's really, t like, tough for them. And if they do, like, the one they get in the middle is too sugary for them. And... Um, Another one also is um, like lemons and oranges and like all citrus because it contains citric acid which is really bad for snails. It will harm them. There are a certain types of citrus that you can feed them but I always like to be like just don't feed them any citrus. And so I'll show you my snails. So here's my snail's habitat, and I can take the lid off if I can get it off. Um, so now we're going to be talking about like how when you should feed your snails. So it's not like um, fish; you have to like feed them once in the afternoon, feed them some in the like morning. But snails, you have to have good fresh food, like every every like every day change it when it gets mm, before it gets moldy and before it goes rotten if snails eat moldy food like it can be okay but i wouldn't do that and also i have eggshells in here and um, the snails actually kind of like just like lick it chew it and yeah it's a good calcium source as well for more information i suggest you go to lily and snails or she's or um, Alina and Animal Lover 368. They have good YouTube channels and they're really good with snails. And they also, my snails aren't land snails. They are, they eat moss as well, so they probably won't eat the same thing uh, things as your snails, if, especially where you live. If you live like where they're land snails and garden snails, these aren't them. These are golden land snails, which are, are actually in Australia. So yeah, and now I, I'm talking about my eggshell. So eggshell is a good calcium source, and like this is like kind of soft. So my snails like to go and come and eat it. It's a good calcium source. Other calcium sources are reptile powder. As long as it doesn't contain salt, salt can kill your snails. And a really, really good calcium source is cuttlebone. It's one of my favorites that I use, but I ran out, so I'm just using eggshells right now. Um, soon I'll be using cuttlebone, but I'm not using it right now. And another one, uh, crushed up oysters. They're pretty hard to get, not really. I've never tried it. And if you don't provide a calcium source for your snails, they can start eating their own shells or try and lick rocks. It's just kind of weird. Um, so, yeah. And there are a lot of other foods that snails can eat, but you should check, like, with the, uh, like, Google, like, check with Angelina Animal 
Lover 368. She has a lot of information. And um, yeah, Lily Snails doesn't have as much, but Angelina Love is the best one to go to. Lily Snails is really good too. She's like a beginner. So yeah. And so my next um oh uh, my next video is probably going to be on habitat. I really um and yeah, so like ha yeah, habitat. And so yeah. Just be on the safe side with your food and don't put too much food in the habitat. That can be bad for your snails. It can like crowd them. Yeah, so, oh look, there's a snail. Cute little snail. I'll show you him. Yeah, so my snails have pointy shells. They're not like, oh look, there's one. Hello, little guy. There are um, snails, golden rounds, goldens. Golden land snails in here, but they're really tiny, like smaller than, like ten times smaller than a fly or something. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go over what I have talked about today. Feed your snails a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables daily. Make sure it's provided daily, and make don't be afraid to try new fruits, but make sure that you have checked and that they are safe for snails. Never feed your snails rice, bread or salt or anything that isn't natural. And always provide your snails with cuddle bone as good nutrients. And make sure that your snails are healthy and happy with lots of things to eat and just yeah, keep make sure you change their food daily. And um cuddle bone, I don't really know, you don't really have to change it daily. Or uh, and when you're spraying the habitat, you should take the cuddle bone out and then put it back in when you're finished spraying it. I just find it makes it last longer. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So please rate, subscribe and comment. Bye!